back to the uh, channel. We are uh, having a small rabbit here that was actually shot by Anthony uh, a few days back. And now we're gonna go ahead and clean it up, get it all sorted out. If you're a fisherman or a fly fisherman or something, or you tie your own flies, this is actually perfect for uh, trout flying or something like that. It's really, really good for the body of the flies because it actually in it takes the water really well so it sinks really well too so if you want to save and preserve the skin this is how you do it so i'm going to take it out with the skin and try to preserve it and then we're going to go ahead and quarter the uh the rabbit as well i'm going to start from the legs all the way around nice and easy like you do with any other animal game animal and uh once you have that you're basically opened up so the plan is to actually make a cut this way in that way in this way down and out here again and then you can actually nice and easy get everything off and that's how you do it so uh, let's get started was one That was two. They're very delicate skin, so it takes a little bit of finesse, and uh, as soon as you got it rolling, you should be fine. There we go. Let's try the other side. Just take your time and have patience with it because it comes off really easy. But it's also very easy to go ahead and destroy the meat uh, if you want to keep that. So. coming off very easy simple as that oh. and then you just work your way nice and easy and you can actually take the skin off that way So here's the uh, rabbit uh, got it and everything's ready and now we're gonna quarter it out for getting ready for the cooking. So after a quick cleaning and also getting uh, the rabbit ready for cooking, the skin can be used and preserved like this. It's actually cleaned out, I just used some really strong detergent and um, it's actually on the first side right now and this is the inside up. 
this is all filled up with salt at the moment and the reason why I use salt is because salt goes in and it dries and dehydrates the skin but it also preserves the skin so in a few days probably three or four from now I can take it up and I'll let it wind dry after that and then I should be able to use it with a slight uh, brush a steel brush maybe but you got to watch out because they're very fragile and then from there on you can dry the skin and it's gonna look like a rabbit skin and actually all these nice hairs that you got here uh, all the way around if you don't want to use it as a skin like this you can actually use it for fishing hooks or you could go ahead and um, do your own fly tying a lot of fly tires they actually like the real rabbit's ears to make um, the body of a very nice fly to catch trout and salmon and stuff like that um, they're very very lively in the water and that's what they used in the old days as well but this is what I got right now I just used some old arrows so it's ready to be pulled up and uh, in four days I'll go ahead and take the salt off I'll fill up with baby powder instead because it's going to take the last of the um, uh, the water and the moisture out of the skin and then it's going to be hanging for two days and then it's ready to be uh, let's say preserved and actually finished with the steel brush so I hope that uh, helps out and that's how you do a skin on a rabbit.